Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I almost knocked over my tray. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun to do a pick a card for your week ahead. This is timeless, so whenever you're meant to find this reading, um, this will be your message. Remember, not everything will resonate with everyone, so take what does and what doesn't. Please just throw it out. And go ahead and choose from one of the three piles. I also have charms. I've been wanting to introduce charms, so I thought this would be really, really fun. Also, um, I will be making some changes to my channel. I will still be doing monthly uh, readings for all, well, not all signs, only the signs that I feel drawn to. I'm only going to be doing the signs that I'll be drawn to, but I'll always be doing Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries. You guys are always going to get a reading. Always, no matter what. The other signs, it's going to be as I feel drawn to it. So I hope you understand. All right, so I have some charms after each pile and some letters and some words. So this is going to be really fun. So go ahead and choose which pile you're drawn to the most. We have the owl right here for pile one. We have this cute little lion for pile two. And then we have the elephant, Ellie. I don't know why I call every elephant Ellie, but we have elephant right here for pile three. So take a moment to decide what pile you're drawn to and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get into pile one. Let me clear the rest. This is pile three, pile two. Okay, so your week ahead for pile one. Let's see what we have here. We have release, okay. We have joy. That right there. So it's your tarot's. We have strength. We have the six of swords. We have the nine of cups. Very good. We have harp. Let me move the owl. We have June. And we have romances in the air. That's awesome. And you know what? I want to go ahead and grab mine. Excuse me for a minute. Okay, I'll wait to the end of this. I'm going to grab Lover's Oracle for you. For the love is in the air. We have Usher's Confessions. We have Moving. We have spider spirit, make your dreams real. Mm -hmm. Make your dreams real. And then we have mall spirit, surrender now. Okay, so I hope you guys can see all of those the way I have them. All right, so right off the bat, What's drawing me in is the Nine of Cups energy over here. I feel your overall energy this week will be the Nine of Cups. You're going to be pretty satisfied with something, a decision that you've made. Very satisfied. You're moving on from something with the Six of Swords. You've made a decision that you're going to move. You're moving away from some type of situation. And it's funny because we have the Usher Confessions here. So... This basically tells me that we're some type of secrets that were being revealed to you. Somebody was probably not being honest. Something. It was a messy situation that you're moving from. And you're very satisfied with moving ahead. We have the Six of Swords and we have moving here too. So for some of you, you guys will actually be re re relocating this week. But for some of you, you will just actually be taking action and doing a lot of movement. Um, movement with your plans, your dreams. When, I'm, when I see this sp spider spirit right here, a lot of you this week will be really focused on making your dreams a reality. Um, when I look at the spider, they're basically weaving this web 
And when I see them weaving this web, that for me, that symbolizes security, a secure home through trial and error. You're really focused on making something secure. It could be a job situation, a lot of movement towards your plans and your dreams this week, which is awesome. Now, I feel that a bit of an obstacle you'll have this week is the strength right here. Staying strong. There might be a moment, there might be a moment where you'll be looking back at something this week, maybe a little bit of regret, but you're going to still, you're still going to persevere. You're still going to continue. You're going to stay strong, but I feel there might be a little bit of um, a test to keep your, a test when it comes to your strength, if that's making any sense. But I see you being strong this week and continuing with your plans. We also have the message surrender now. So I really feel that now's the time for you to make a move, but you're doing that. Um, but for some of you, you really need to completely surrender for everything to come into fruition. Just make sure you're, you're surrendering to the, the, the ah, I cannot talk. I'm stuttering today. Some of you might need to be working on your throat chakra because I'm stuttering a lot. Um, maybe having some some difficulty expressing what you want to say this week for some of you. I'm just getting that. Um, but Spirit is basically coming through and saying that now's the time for you to surrender. But I see you're doing that. You're really happy and content. Also releasing. Um, releasing whatever this was right here. Um, whatever confession or whatever major mess up that someone did or a messy situation, make sure you're completely releasing that and moving on from it. Don't keep playing it in your head. Um, don't look at it. I always talk about this old, ugly house. This is funny. It's like living in an old, ugly house and you finally get the chance to move out of it. But for some reason, every day you get in your car and you drive to the old, ugly house just to look at it and complain about it. And you do it every day and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> don't do that. Um, don't replay events in your head because I'm seeing the death right here. The tombstones. It's, it's done. It's over with. Now we also have joy. There's something that's going to make you really happy this week. We have we have the joy card right here. I feel that you're feeling a lot of peace this week with your decision and you're feeling a lot of joy and happiness because we have great happiness right here. And it's funny because I'm shooting this video is uh this video is timeless, but we have June. June is really significant and some of you will be experiencing great happiness in June. And what I was trying to say is I'm shooting this video in June. So you will be experiencing great happiness this June, which is great. We also have romances in romances in the air. So this is really interesting. Let me pull from one of my love oracle decks. Give me just a minute. I need to find where it is. Just a minute. Here it is. All right. Let's see what this love is in the air. But I really feel that some of you are just really passionate about what you're doing and you're moving forward with confidence. Spirit, can you clarify what love is in the air for this pile one, for group one? It's clarification, love is in the air, love work. Okay. Oh, okay, it says, it is safe for you to love Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So that's awesome. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, one more did flip. True love. Oh, that's awesome. So, okay. So some of you this month will actually be meeting, meeting someone really important. This is a romance of a lifetime. So you're going to be meeting your true love for some of you if you're looking into that. And then for another group of you, you're just going to be really finding something that something that you're really passionate about that wakes you up in the morning that you're looking forward to doing you weren't satisfied in a job situation um your past career you just weren't satisfied and now you're headed to the direction of of love you're you're really excited about what you do this is something that you're meant to do that's what i'm seeing for you this week now let's go ahead and pull some of your charms pile one I've been excited to introduce my charm collection. Okay. 
let's see, the charms for pile one. Spirit, can you give me the charms for pile one? Pile one. Okay, awesome. We have your charms right here. All right. It's interesting. I'm also gonna pull some of you. Okay, a lot of you are seeing, seeing clearer with the glasses right here. Can you see the little glasses? Right there. Before I go completely over them, I'm gonna pull some words for you too. For pile one. Oh, awesome. Happiness. That's awesome. It's going to happen. 777. Seven, seven. Okay. And some letters. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that. We have an F. This. I'm going to put the letters over here. I hope you guys can see all that. Okay. Got a bunch of letters. Okay, so I'm just going to keep the letters up here, and you guys can probably just look at them and see if you can spell something. Possibly. You can see those, yeah. All right, so this is really interesting. We have, it's going to happen. So something that you've been working for really hard, Spirit is coming through and letting you know that it's going to happen. I got really excited right here when I see the 777. <laughs> Luck is on your side, pile one. So you might wanna play a scratch off here and there because you're very lucky this week. You're gonna find yourself in just having a lot of luck this week. We also have happiness, so you're going to be feeling a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. You also had joy down here, didn't you? Yeah, joy. You got the part of joy, so a lot of happiness and joy this week. It's a really good week for you. We also have the lovebirds here, so that makes a lot of sense with that card. Uh, true love, your true love card. Where did I, did I put it back up? True love, that makes a lot of sense. So some of you are definitely finding true love with someone this week. I love it. Also, you have my little moon, my little moonstone, and this basically talks about pay attention to your dream. It reminds me, it's very dreamy to me. So you, make sure you're paying, to your, paying attention to your dreams this week because your dreams are trying to tell you something. We also have the throat chakra right here. This, I think this is labyrinth, right? I'm not quite sure, but this is about your throat chakra, so make sure that you are, you know, speaking up. I'm getting speak up with this. Definitely don't don't hold how you feel inside. You know, make sure you're speaking clearly. But I see I see you speaking up a lot this week with this stone. Really saying what's on your mind. We have the lovebirds. I like the little glasses right here. Um, you're definitely seeing things from another lens. You're seeing things much more clearly now. We also have the snowflake right here. So this is about winter for me. Um, maybe someone, okay, someone may have made you feel left out in the cold and you're moving away from that. But for some of you, winter is very significant to you. May even be, um, for some of you, your favorite, the holidays might be your favorite time of year. But um, something about winter that's what the snowflake reminds me of. We have I love you. So I really feel like this is connected to the lovebirds right here. Some type of love is coming through for you. And this is like the infinity symbol right here. This is love that's going to last for a long time. This is the love of a lifetime right here. We also have another heart right here. So this just basically reminds me of love again. Now you have Sagittarius. This is telling me either you're a Sagittarius or maybe the person that you're finding love with or a partnership with. Something something to do with Sagittarius. Or you have Sagittarius in your heart. I mean, in your chart. I said in your heart. 
<laughs> yeah, some of you are definitely finding love with the Sagittarius because I said that. Um, but some of you, you know, have Sagittarius in your chart. Also, we have the pizza right here. So this pizza represents uh, basically be mindful of your diet when I see this. Just be mindful that you're eating properly. It's okay to have a snack here and there, you know, um, if something, something that's not so healthy for you every now and then, but make sure that you're really pay attention to what you're intaking this week. Also, we have the elephant. So this is, oh, you got another one. This is awesome. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. But the elephant basically reminds me of a long journey. You've grown pretty wise. Elephants are pretty wise to me. So you've grown a lot of wisdom with the, the elephant. Oh, this is awesome. Ah, can I pick it up with these freaking nails? So annoying. You have the four leaf clover. If I can, okay, I'm not gonna be able to pick up. See the four leaf clover right there? You have the four leaf clover. So you have the four leaf clover and the 777 right here. And then you have the citrine right here. So this tells me some wealth is coming in for you. You guys have a lot of luck coming in, a lot of luck. Also, we have the scissors right here. So the scissors is you're cutting out something. You're cutting something out of your life. This could be somebody or a toxic situation, definitely. And I spoke about that already. Um, practice. This is what this charm means to me, practice. So when I see this little tutu on the hanger, I feel that this week you're going to be practicing a lot. Your, your, um, your skill, maybe reading up on something, but spirit is saying practice to perfect it. Practice is needed. What does this say right here? It says, you are always in my heart. Oh, that's beautiful. Someone... This basically reminds me of someone probably that have passed on. They're letting you know that they're always you're always in their heart. We also have the wreath right here. So this basically reminds me of getting together with family. Maybe get together with family and friends this week. You may be doing that. Also, we have here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. So definitely a uh, past loved one, someone who has passed on um, is sending love to you. Uh, you'll know who this person is if it's, if you're really, if it's resonating with you, but some of you have some type of connection to someone who's deceased that's sending you some love. Also, we have the, okay. So we have the starfish right here. And this basically tells me that make sure that Make sure that you're being yourself and you're not doing things just to please other people. Um, remember who you are. Remember what your calling is, that your calling is going to be unique from everyone else. So that's basically what this starfish represents to me. So, all right, Pile One. Overall, you have a great week. It's really exciting. You know, get yourself a scratch-off ticket here and there. Not go crazy gambling, but, you know, you have a very lucky week this week. I'm gonna pull this up a little closer. Also, maybe some of these things mean something different to you. And take a look at them. All right. Okay, Pile One, have a fabulous week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, also, hit the like and subscribe button. Help me out a little bit. All right, bye-bye. Okay, pile two. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has in store for you for the your upcoming week. Let's go ahead and see. All right, so we have the little lion here. Ah. Okay, we have guilt. We have enlightenment. We have Miguel, simple things. We have the chariot. We have the ace of pentacles. We have judgment. For some reason, I feel as if this goes here and here, okay. Okay, we have owl spirit. You got three animal spirits, so I went ahead and took it. We have decisions.
We have koi fish spirit. There's always enough. And we have the beetle spirit. Sweet results await. So, so overall this week, I feel pile two, you guys will be really enjoying the simple things in life. That's your song for the whole week. You'll really be enjoying and appreciating the simple things. Now, I also feel with the judgment card, something that something that, that you thought was dead and over with uh, may not be dead and over with. You're actually, something's being resurrected. Like something's coming back to life for you. Some Maybe it was a hobby that you kind of gave up and now you're you're starting to go for it again. Pick it back up this week. Um, something to do with you're you're getting a second chance at something. That's what I'm getting. Like a second chance. It could even be with a career. You're getting some type of second chance this week. And I feel that this week you're really going to because you have like major arcana this week. You have the ace of pinnacle here. Ace of pinnacles this week. So I really feel that this is the beginning of major abundance for you with the ace of pentacles right here you're planting major seeds right here with this ace of pentacles that's what i'm getting and with the with the chariot right here you're going after it this week definitely a lot of nothing's stopping you this week you're really going for it a lot of i'm hearing go 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 you're not slowing down this week. You're not letting anything stop you. You now set a solid intention and you're really going for what you want. And it's funny because this week you may be feeling a little guilty because you've had you've become much more enlightened. I feel like this guilt is from your enlightenment. Um and you see things a bit differently now and some people around you may feel that you're probably leaving some people behind. Um, you're just seeing a situation for what it is and you're moving away from it. And you might feel a little guilty. Just a little guilty. But, you know, Spirit's saying you got to let go of that guilt. And I feel that you will. You're not going to be letting that guilt stop you. But there's a little, a little bit of this um, feeling kind of guilty because you are on another level now. You're, you've woken up. You've woken up. You've heard the, with the angel right here, it's like you've heard the trumpet. I know she's not holding in a trumpet in this one, but you've heard the trumpets and you're, you're not going to stay in a situation that made you unhappy. You have big plans, big plans. You're making big moves, big moves this week. Now, yeah, we have, you see clearly now. So, you're definitely seeing things much more clearly, like I was saying. Things different. Seeing things different. Also with this always enough, and this is a five right here. What's this? No, it's not five. Seven, okay. Look up angel number seven. Yes, angel number seven right here. We also have the koi fish. So this basically talks about it always being enough. So don't think that whatever you decide to do, some, for some reason I'm hearing real estate for some reason. For some of you, you're thinking about doing real estate. Um, you may feel like something's oversaturated. Like there's a lot of competition, but Spirit's saying no, there's always enough. There's always enough to go around. With whatever you're trying to do, there's always enough going around. Pile two. So don't, don't have that in your head that... You know, maybe it's oversaturated. Maybe there's too many people doing it. What's going to make me unique? You're, you're what makes it unique. You. Just you being you is what's going to make it unique. Pile two. We have a seven again right here. So seven. What's the koi fish? Six, seven, eight, nine. A nine, two sevens right here. So look up seven. Okay. And uh, angel number nine. But... With the beetle spirit right here, spirit is saying you're going to have sweet results right, when you go after this. 
You know, don't let your thoughts get to you. I feel like whatever this is that you're going after with the chariot, you're going to have sweet, sweet results. Things are going to be working out for you in your favor right here. And it's funny because you picked the lion right here. I feel like it's a lot of courageous energy for you. A lot of courageous energy for you this um, this week and decisions. Yes, you're definitely making your decisions this week. There, you're going to have a lot of decisions to make. A lot of choices I'm hearing. Um, perfection. Some of you are a bit of a perfectionist. I'm trying to perfect something. Definitely. This week. It's definitely a lot of... A lot of action, a lot of setting a firm, solid foundation pile to. That's what you'll be doing. Let me pull an angel love message for you. Let's see. Love angel message for pile two. You hear my kids in the background. They're okay. Okay, religious factors. Love yourself first. Okay. So, so for some of you, this says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. So a lot of you, what I'm getting here is you have to have someone that's on your level. Definitely. You have to have someone who believes in the same thing is you that's very important whether you're religious or spiritual um your spirituality or your religion is very important to you i'm getting here and love yourself first so this basically says your your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so attractive so it basically talks about you loving yourself first for those of you who are single and looking for someone just make sure that you know you do love yourself first because that's the only way you're going to get true love. If you don't do that, then how are you going to be able to love someone else if you can't really love yourself? Okay, let's go ahead and pull some of your charms. Let's see what the charms have to say for your week. Simple thing. All right, I'll see. Okay, so pile two. All right. Let's go ahead and get some. Ah, where did my letters go? Hold on just a minute. Okay, here they are. See? True. Words, I mean. I said letters. And let's get a couple of letters for you. Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? Have confidence, okay. We have 222. Two, two. This is dealings with relationships. Some of you may be seeing 222 two, two a lot. We have peace right here. Ooh, luck. A lot of people are lucky. Pile one had that. Luck. Be a lucky week. You have luck on your side. Happiness. So a lot of peace and happiness this week. That's all we can want. You know, peace. That's all we can ask for is some peace. Especially right now. We just need some peace. We have fall. Fall is really important to you. Um, that's significant to you. I mean, Paul, something happening in fall. So you might be asking yourself a question when something's going to happen. We're getting fall. Okay, your letters. I'm going to let you put together the words because I'm not the best speller. <laughs> if I see something that jumps out to me, then okay. But if I'm not seeing it. hope you guys are seeing these letters right here. You can see those. All right, so we have the throat chakra right here. And it's funny, we have the mic here. So basically speaking up. So we're just asking you to speak up. A lot of you will be speaking up. 
If you're not, just make sure you're you're speaking up this week. And also with the mic right here, this basically reminds me of you basically someone stepping up and stepping up to the stage. You know, you're kind of nervous. Like that Eminem song, you, what is that? Lose yourself in the music. It kind of reminds me of that. You're really stepping up and taking charge. We also have this feather, and this reminds me of protection. You're protected by an angel, by a guide. Ooh, we have the shoe right here. So this makes a lot of sense with the decision card. I feel that you're really trying to figure, figure out what fits, where you fit. Because, you know, with the shoe, you put your foot in the shoe and you have to find your right fit. So you're really looking for your right fit, where you fit in with something. We have live, laugh, and love. So enjoy yourself. Ooh, we have prosperity right here with this basket. Having enough. That's what that reminds me of. We also have trust right here. Imagine, use your imagination right here. Imagine. Two it is. We have Pisces. You may be a Pisces or you're dealing with a Pisces this week. A Pisces is really important. Um, Pisces probably in your chart, your intuition. Pisces are very intuitive. We have Aries. Um, probably dealing with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart. I love to cheer. So basically, this reminds me of cheering yourself on, doing positive affirmations. If you can see the I love to cheer right there, you can see that. I love to cheer. We have no matter where. So that's basically telling me that no matter where, you're going to be successful, no matter where you are. We also have this right here, this nickel. So this is basically telling me that you're going to be getting some type of money this week, some type of money. Also, this says, you are my sunshine. So you're going to be the sunshine to somebody this week. Somebody, You're making somebody really happy. Taking on sun energy right there. Look at this. Always right here. Trust. Okay. We have this right here. So I feel that you're going to be... You're going to be really taking another, a, a closer look at something. Taking a closer look at something right here. That's what I'm getting right there. Dream. Yeah, more money right here. More money. Expecting money coming in this week. This is a star. So this basically reminds me of hope too. But this also reminds me that you have... Um, this basically tells me you have star quality this week. There, You have star quality. It's something about you. It's music notes right here. Music may be really important to you. Working with music. Maybe you're a mu musician or something, an artist. Gemini. We also have Gemini right here. Ooh, securing something with a button. So definitely securing something. With the Ace of Pentacles right here, we we're talking about that. Ooh, you have the Star of David over here. So this is basically telling me that you're being led. You're being guided. We have another safety pin. This is also, okay, definitely. It's going to be secure. Security. Something secured for you. You're being led to security. You're trying to secure something. You've got, definitely trying to secure something. Now, the key. This, I like this. This basically talks about maybe a door was locked. Something was locked and you were getting a no, but now it's unlocked now. You're going to be getting a yes this week to something. We also have, I feel, what does it say? I feel about you. I feel about you makes my heart long to be free. So you have a secret admirer. Also, we have the hanger right here. So... Getting organized this week is going to be really important that you get organized um, with your plans. This reminds me of just being organized, getting a plan into motion right here. Now, I'm going to kind of pull a little close. If maybe any of this means something to you.
personally, because sometimes it has personal meanings. All right, pile two. I think you have an amazing week this week. It's going to be awesome. You know, don't doubt yourself. Uh, speak up and remember you're protected and you got this. All right, if you like this reading, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps my channel out a lot. All right, have a wonderful week. Bye. Okay, pile three. Let's see what your week has in store for you, the elephant. You've chose the elephant that automatically tells me you've had a long journey and you've grown, you've grown pretty wise with the elephant. Okay, so we have trickery right here. We have fair mail. We have mountain road. You are on the road to success. We have feather. Someone you know is undependable and insecure. Ooh, we have good news. Normally I only like to take three or two, but you got all four of these, so why not take them, right? Okay. You got two of these. You have Alicia Keys, underdog. We have Pink, Don't Let Me Get Me. I like that song. We have Chameleon, Spirit, Act As If, Spiritual Growth. We have the High Priestess right here. We have the Page of Cups. You also got four. We have the King of Cups. Hey. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You know what? I think this, for some reason, this is telling me to put this here. Okay, so this week, pile three, I really feel that your intuition is really strong with the high priestess energy. Um, you're definitely highly intuitive this week. Um, you may even be having um, prophetic dreams I'm getting this week. Really pay attention to your dreams I'm getting. Um, with the page of cups this week, for some reason, I'm getting imagination. Um, your, your imagination is really um, running wild this week. Um, you're being very creative. Being very creative with your imagination, I'm getting for some of you this week. Also, with the King of Cups energy, some of you are dealing with a um, King of Cups as a as a person. Um, I feel that you've been dealing in a relationship with someone this week. Um, and you're kind of really giving your cup to your high priestess in yourself, if that's making any sense. You're really listening to your intuition with this person. Because I feel like this person is doing some type of trickery, this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, they're very... Um, they're very emotionally mature. They don't really show their emotions, but they, they are emotional. Um, like they don't, they don't spaz out or anything. They don't really show how emotional they are, but I feel that there's been some type of trickery and you're seeing that and things are changing um, with the wheel of fortune as, as in a relationship here. But I also feel that for another group of you, you're really being very um, emotionally, emotionally mature when it comes to a situation that your intuition has told you about. Um, you're using your intuition to make beneficial changes this week with the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely. But um, make sure that with your imagination, for there's a group of you that really can be very imaginative and you can let your imagination kind of get the best of you because we have don't let me get me right here and this basic this song by pink is basically talking about how you can be a hazard to yourself 
how you can be your worst enemy at times. So really don't let what you're imagining in your head this week get to you, if that's making any sense, because it's really all in your head. It's really not what you think it is. Um, also, we have the underdog. So I really feel that some of you this week really have felt, um, will be feeling as if you were an under, underdog, but the underdog always ends up shining. Um, they always end up on top. They become the most successful, the person that people looked over. And you have that energy that you're going to become very successful. Keep doing what you're doing. Just don't let your imagination get <laughs> the best of you, I'm getting. Um, we have the chameleon spirit right here. So I really feel that the spirit is basically, this card is basically talking about, um, you know, manifesting, acting as if you already have. Um, acting as if you're already wealthy, if you already have wealthy, like setting that mindset because you're really trying to manifest something. And a lot of you actually um, are like chameleons. You can blend in really easy to a crowd. Like you can blend into different groups um, very well. I'm getting that with the chameleon spirit. Also spiritual growth here. A lot of you have... And it's funny because you pick the elephant right here. So this basically tells me that you, you've learned a lot and you've, you've grown stronger spiritually. A lot of spiritual growth has happened for you. Pile three. Now, you'll be getting some good news right here. This is awesome. It'll be some type of opportunity, something you've been waiting for. Um, some type of good news is coming in. It, okay, I'm hearing finances. When it comes to your finances, there's going to be some type of positive change there for some of you. Um, we also have fair man. And I really feel that for some of you, you're dealing with someone who basically has blonde hair, gray hair, white hair, or just fair complexion. They're kind of undependable. Undepend um, unde I cannot speak today. They're not very dependable, I'm getting from you this week. They're just kind of flaky and just, you can't really depend on you. You're really going to have to depend on yourself this week. Um, you also have the mountain road. You're on the road to success. So whatever you've been trying to manifest, you're on the road to success is saying, you know, you're going to be successful. You're on the right path that you're supposed to be in. Pile three. All right, let's pull some love oracle cards for your, for you. Let's see. Wedding. Oh, this situation involves marriage. So some of you are probably married to a, someone with fair skin. Um, those features that I spoke about. Okay, children. Yeah. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So unrequainted love. This is catching my eye. Okay, separation. Yeah, some of you may be going separation with this person. Um, I feel like you guys are probably just not getting um, along right now. I'm getting right here. And this involves you're your, your married to the person. Um, you have children. Children are involved here. And your children are being affected. Because they know, even though we don't say stuff around our children, they can feel energy. They're highly intuitive. They can see what's going on. So I feel that you guys will probably need to take a break. Um, and your intuition is telling you that, Pile 3, if this is resonating for some of you. Um, it's going to resonate with who it's meant to resonate with. So I really feel that you guys will be taking some type of um, break from each other because you guys are just not seeing eye to eye. And sometimes when you take a break from the person and aren't around each other 24-7, you can kind of get a breather and see things a little bit clearer. So, all right, let's get your charms. Let's see the charms for... Ooh, okay. And then I'm going to pull some letters for you. And then let's get some of these fabulous words. Pile three. Let's get some of these fabulous words. 
All right. Let's see, what goodies do we have? Ooh, I like this. A big opportunity coming for you with this key. A big opportunity, a new home. Something big is headed towards you, pile three. We also have, you're overthinking it. Okay, so like we were talking about your imagination. Um, yeah, you're overthinking something. Um, life is not a race, so take your time. You know, you're not going to run out of time. That's what I'm getting right here. You're not going to run out of time. It's okay. Take your time. Have confidence. So there's a need for confidence. Your messages from spirit. Ooh, we have a time frame here. Two to three weeks. We have joy. Ooh, I love joy. Smile more. <laughs> It's going to be okay. Smile more. And it's going to happen. Have confidence. You, It's going to happen. And smile more. I like this. It's going to happen. Okay, so we got all those there. I'm going to move these out of the way. And let's, you got a lot of words. The letters. Ah, no. Okay, I caught it. Aha. You will not get away. Ooh, we have R. Is able to spell that one. Oh, we have an I here. Ooh, R sin. We have an S sins. We have a P. I'm gonna put the P. We have O. O P P. <laughs> Poo. <laughs> Arsons poo. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> that is awful. If you can find another word or something. <laughs> oh, I'm awful. That's why I want you guys to do it. Just I need to stop. <laughs> Whatever initials you can make out of that, um, just let me know. Comment down below. Oh my lord. Okay, we have Pisces. You could be Pisces or you're dealing with a Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart. Oh, we have the I love to cheer. So I feel like with the I love to cheer, it's basically talking about you cheering yourself on. You really need to cheer yourself on. We also have the rose quartz here. So this talks about self-love, self-care. Do a lot of self-care and self-love. We also have strong is beautiful. So you're strong strong is beautiful we have trust we have protected okay we have this right here pay attention to your health we have security something being secured that came out again with someone else also time to step up speak your truth right here that's what i'm getting with the mic for you we have the starfish. Now, this starfish reminds me of the beach. Um, the beach may be important to you. Um, maybe it's time for you to get out and go to the beach if you can. Some of you have a pet cat, a pet cat um, that's that's very important, um, significant. Now, this reminds me of a trap, trapped butterfly. Um, the butterfly in the circle right here, this is basically telling me that some of you are feeling trapped. Um... It's like you've bloomed and you've you've gone through a transformation, but you're feeling kind of trapped right now. But that will change. Also, a key. Oh, you got a little key. You have a big key and a little key. So definitely an opportunity coming your way. A way out of something. Inspire. Ooh, I love this. You have the eagle right here. So this basically tells me that Spirit is saying that you're an eagle. You know, you need to you need to hold yourself at a higher standard than other people. You really do. You're an eagle. You're not a chicken like that Slim Thug song. You're not. You need to hold yourself at a at a higher standard. Now, this right here, this tennis rack right here, it, it reminds me of fight back. Fight back. Cuz the tennis rack you hit the ball. I feel that this is fighting back. You need to defend yourself, I'm getting. For some reason, I'm getting that from some people. Okay. 
Oh, awesome. Some of you are actually making something by, um, you guys are making something, like creating something authentically on your own with this sewing needle right here. You guys are at home creating something. Another button right here, security, security. Security is really important to you. We also have the jet, so something's about to take off for you. This is fast movement. Also pizza. Mm -mm. Okay, this is basically talking about moderation. Make sure that you're really paying attention because we have the health right here too. So this is basically telling me, make sure that you're really watching what you're eating. Um, you're not eating too much junk food. You know, have some fruits and vegetables too. Something's trying to get your attention. Someone or something, um, someone's trying to get your attention with the, the bell right here. We have the death transformation. Something's coming to an end. Something will be ending this week. It's some type of end. Ooh, we have the citrine, another piece of citrine. Yeah, I feel like it's an opportunity for more money. You have wealth right here. And then we have, what does this say right here? We have, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. So someone that has passed on is basically letting you know that they're with you. And they're sending love to you. This person could have been a, a Taurus, an earth sign. Um, have Taurus in their chart because this was by that. I'm just getting that. Um, Taurus. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus or you can have Taurus in your chart. I'm getting. Excellent. I'm going to hold the charms up to the video so you can take a look. Maybe some of them have a special meaning for you. Oh my gosh, my spelling... What is that? <laughs> I don't think that was your message, but maybe it does resonate for someone out there. All right, Pile 3. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps me out so much. All right. Have a beautiful week. Bye.